हेलो फ्रेंड हाउ आर यू होप एवरीथिंग इज फाइन विथ योर स्टडीज फ्रेंड एज वी नो दैट द स्ट्रॉगर एंड वाइडर द रोड द रेलवे एंड द मोबाइल नेटवर्क आर देर इन एनी कंट्री द स्ट्रॉगर द इकोनॉमी ऑफ दैट कंट्री विल बी एज सच नेटवर्क बूस्ट द इकोनॉमिक एक्टिविटीज ऑफ द रीजन दे पास थ्रू इज एंड इट इन फैक्ट इट इज सच नेटवर्क द कनेक्ट अ कंट्री फ्रॉम द ईस्ट टू द वेस्ट एंड फ्रॉम द वेस्ट to the east and thus accelerates the overall economy friend in the similar way the wide network of rivers and rivulets and their link is with one another can play a very crucial role in today's world where fresh water availability is getting diminished very fast causing grave concern for all entities of the entire world we know that all old civilizations of the world developed by the river banks as rivers are the source of sustenance and subsistence of all kinds of life on earth hello friend i am anandam from bankways in this video we will pick an essay topic how national interlinking of rivers authority nira n i r a will solve the problems of unequal distribution of fresh water and thereby fulfilling the ambitious plan har ghar jal in india friend as usual you need to frame frame the essay in the predetermined format the introduction to the topic deals with what nira that is to say national interlinking of rivers authority is all about and how it will facilitate the har ghar jal mission in the country then the body of the topic should be properly dealt with some relevant facts and figures to satisfy the topic and then finally you should provide the conclusion describing your point of view okay friend let's get some basic idea of the given topic to frame the essay very effectively friend india and many other countries are facing an acute fresh water crisis and if serious steps are not taken the future of the coming generations will become bleak and for that the existing humanity would be accountable as far as the as india is concerned it does not have a very large number of river basins a question arises what are river basins friend river basins are the areas of land from which all the water flows into a particular river in fact these collectively form rivers you must know that there are only 20 river basins in india The Ganga is the largest river basin supporting more than 400 million people. Such river basins provide water for irrigation, drinking and for energy production. The economy of a large number of people is directly linked with uh, rivers and so the importance of rivers is manifold. Getting down to the brass tacks, let's discuss what Nira that is to say national interlinking of rivers authority is all about but friend to understand this it is necessary for us to understand what the interlinking of rivers is all about okay friend as you know that india is a water stressed country according to the uh, aqueduct water risk atlas released by the world resource institute that is to say wri india is placed 13th among the world's 17 extremely water stressed countries we know that india is the second highest populated country and so it must tap it it must harvest it it must conserve the rain water to cater to the increasing demand of the population it needs a large number of water reservoirs and it is rivers that can help make water reservoirs but friend unluckily the number of rivers is very less in the country furthermore the majority of such rivers are not perennial they are seasonally replenished with water the ganga the indus the uh, ghar uh, uh, ghar ghara 
the Yamuna, the Tapti, the Brahmaputra, the Narmada, the Mahanadi, the Satlas and uh, 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 are some perennial rivers, whereas a large number of rivers are only seasonal and which receive water only during the rainy season. During the rainy season, both the perennial and non-perennial rivers play havoc with their embankment areas every year, causing massive loss of life and property. Keeping this in mind, the concept of interlinking of rivers came into being uh, 150 years ago, when the chief engineer of the Madras Presidency, Sir Arthur Cotton, proposed linking the Ganga and Kaveri for navigational purposes. Okay? Later, this idea suited the water-stressed country, India. Its main objective turned out to connect uh, various surplus rivers with deficient rivers. Okay? In 1960, this idea was uh, revived by Kaluri Lakshman Rao, who was the Minister of State for Energy and Irrigation under the leadership of Jawaharlal Nehru. Then the National Perspective Plan NNP was created. It comprised two components, Himalayan rivers development and peninsular rivers development. As uh, under the NPP, the National Water Development Agency NWDA has identified 30 links uh, out of which 16 are under peninsular component and 14 under the Himalayan components for preparation of uh, feasibility reports which you see on the screen. In 1982, a National Water Development Agency NWDA was set up to conduct the surveys and see how feasible proposals of interlinking of uh, interlinking river projects are. Okay? As the concept was still a mammoth uh, project uh, requiring a massive amount of investment, it was put into cold storage. In 2002, this utopian scheme was again revived by the NDA government under the leadership of Atal Bihari Vajpayee. The Supreme Court then cleared the way for the interlinking of India's major rivers to combat water scarcity in some parts of the country. Prime Minister Atal Bihari Vajpayee, following the Supre uh, Supreme Court uh, recommendation, formed a task force to look at the mo uh, modalities of river linking. The task force concluded that the linking of rivers in the country would raise India's irrigation potential to 160 million hectares for all types of crops by 2050. On October 22, 2021, a National Interlinking of Rivers Authority, NIRA, was created for this purpose. NIRA will replace the existing National Water Development Agency, NWDA. Okay. It will function as an umbrella body for all uh, river linking projects headed by a government of India secretary rank officer. So friend, this is all about this story of how the utopian project, uh, project has been making its journey to date. Now it is heading towards being translated into reality. Friend, before we get to know of the challenges, let's learn the functions of NIRA. Okay? Friend, NIRA will be fully an independent or autonomous body for planning, investigating, financing and implementing the projects of interlinking of rivers in the country. In that capacity, it can coordinate with neighboring countries for the purpose with the least interference of the government. Okay? It can raise foreign funds as well on deposits or loans given on interest. It will have the power to set up a special purpose vehicle SPV for the made link projects. Don't you think all these will accelerate the growth of this highly ambitious project of interlinking of rivers? Yes, it can do it with freedom. Okay, now friend let's discuss how it will fulfill the scheme her ghar jal in near future. Friend, the main objective of NIRA is to balance the uneven water availability in the country. The majority of parts of the country are dependent on monsoon, but the interlinking of rivers will help balance the uneven, uh, uneven water availability. 
the water deficient regions will get water from the uh, from the water surplus one via river networking and in and this way the objective of her ghar jal mission will be fulfilled the objective of nira is to interlink the indian rivers with a network of reservoirs and canals thus a certain equal water distribution throughout the country thus her ghar jal mission will be a success okay now friend let's discuss the challenges of nira the changes in the natural courses of rivers will get badly affected in this way the flora and fauna will come in danger the wetlands and the food uh, plains will also get adversely affected if interlinking of rivers uh, uh, come into into being okay building dams on the fragile himalayan regions will cause massive devastation as it happened in uttarakhand where the nanda devi glacier had broken off causing an avalanche and a deluge in the alak nanda river system we must know of this the transfer of enormous amounts of water will bring ecological imbalance it may cause seismic implications in the himalayan regions as well as water is an essential part and so the disagreement over water distribution between the states is quite likely the interlinking of rivers will require a massive amount of money which will put high pressure on the government's revenue however this project is not uh, uh, not dependent on the government's revenue it can raise necessary funds without government interference a large number of people will be displaced in this way so the problems of rehabilitation will arise okay so friend these are the challenges which the uh, which the country will have to face now let's conclude friend the idea of interlinking of rivers is not new it has been passing from one generation to the other for 150 years if its feasibility had not been there it would have diminished uh, till date its feasibility is there the work is developing the links will transfer surplus flows of kosi gandak and ghagra to the west india's first river interlinking project connecting ken river in madhya pradesh with betwa in uttar pradesh and it is finally set to get off the drawing board the project will provide enormous benefits to the water starved uh, bundelkhand region in mp and up the project will provide drinking water supply to a population of 62 lakh in the two states the project will take 8 years to complete not too late the center will foot 90% of the cost while the remaining 10% are by the two states in this way the her ghar jal mission will be a success through this project so friend it is all about national interlinking of rivers and how it will make her ghar jal mission a success hope you have got the very idea to write on it quite at ease and with effectiveness friend bankwise is the only platform that provides you with descriptive english and descriptive esi and uh, an exclusive mocks uh, with evaluation by experts uh, for all regulatory body exams it provides you with objective english with exclusive and quality features pay a visit to www.bankwise.com download our applications from google play store please subscribe to the channel for regular updates wish you all the best thank you very much